Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big, and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. We're going to get into some Major League Baseball action for uh, April the 15th. Before we do, I'm going to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section. And you see all these tabs across the top here. These are all tools that will help you make your picks. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is in its second week now, and there's a lot of interesting matchups going on. The teams are, are starting to figure out uh, where they fit and how well they think they might perform throughout the season. So it's a full slate of games for the 15th, but we're going to only take a look at five of them for now. So let's take a look at some of these games. Cleveland and uh, Boston. Now, again, we're not going to look at all of these. You can take a look at these at, at your own leisure. The ones we're going to take a look at here, the first one is Minnesota at Baltimore. You see Minnesota comes in ice cold up, and Baltimore comes in burning hot. Winners of three out of their last four. Uh, three out of their last five, excuse me, and four out of the last six. You can see that the teams are trending in opposite sides of the over-under line, Baltimore mainly in games over the line, and Minnesota in games under the line. Minnesota burning hot versus ice cold up. And on the power ranks indicator, you can see Baltimore is near the top of the league at plus 28, while Minnesota has climbed from zero back on the uh, April 10th up to 15 because of their recent uh, win. The score prediction has Baltimore by a 7-2 score with about 53% level of confidence in the prediction. So far this season, Minnesota is 4-6 and six with a 3-2 and two record on the road. And Baltimore is very consistent overall, both home and road record of 4-2 and two with an 8-4 record overall for the season. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams have not yet met this season. If we look at the stability factor meaning how consistent are they performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. You can see Baltimore very consistent at plus three, whereas Minnesota not as consistent early on at minus one. So in the end here, I like Baltimore to win this one probably by two or three runs. It won't be real close. It should be a comfortable win. If I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. The next game I want to look at is, let's see, Texas and Detroit now. Angels and Tampa Bay, no. Yankees and Toronto Blue Jays. We take a look at this game here in the AL East battle. Um, neither team is playing particularly well as of late, although the Yankees have the best record in the league at 10 and 3, but they are coming off of a loss to Miami, who's you know, a very poor team, they, and they just beat them 5 to 2, with the Yankees being the home team. And Toronto is averaged out at the moment 3 and 3 over their last six. If you take a look at the over under, the teams have been trending on. Uh, under the line mainly, right? See the Yankees in the last three games under and Toronto two out of the last three under. The score prediction has the Yankees by a five to four margin with confidence in the prediction of about 67%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see both teams on the downward trend just because of the recent play. Uh, 17 for the Yankees and you can see the, a, a complete drop off the map here for Toronto. They were at 23 now, they were at plus six. We take a look at the stability factor like I always like to do and it's two and two for both teams but you can see um, this line here the Yankees line has been more up and down a little bit more inconsistent overall but still at the end of the day uh, both teams are at two on the team volatility oscillator so in the end here I think this is going to be a Yankees uh, win here um, Yankees won two out of the three games between the two teams earlier this season. I think they're going to do it again. So let's take the Yankees. Pittsburgh and the New York Mets. In this one here, the Pirates are the surprise team in the, in the league. Although they've lost their last two, still overall for the season, they have done very well. They are 9-4 on the season and tied for first in the NL Central. While the Mets are 5-7 and seven, and they are... Um, not doing very well at home either. Uh, and they're average up right now versus average down because they have won three out of the last four. The score prediction has Pittsburgh by a five to three margin, but the confidence in the prediction is well at 39%. Uh, you can see the teams have been trending on games on over the line. Uh, eight out of the last 12 games combined have been over the line. If you look at the power ranks indicator, the Mets are at plus 24, while the Pirates are sitting here at plus 10 after a steep downward trend over the last few days. If we look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, they have not yet met this season. So this will be the first series between them. 
And again, the stability factor. You can see neither team has been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. The Mets were at the beginning of the season, and they just dropped down to plus one. Or excuse me, minus one. The same as Pittsburgh. I like the Pirates, though, to continue their hot play and put the Mets further under 500. So let's go with the Pirates. But I'm going to avoid the over-under bet. The next one we're going to look at. Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros. Houston's off to a very surprisingly poor 4 and 10 start. They're ice cold down. Losers are the last three. It's just been and look at this. They got dominated in the last two games by Kansas City at being outscored 24 to 5 in those games. While well, Atlanta is in first place in the NL East, although they have lost two out of the last three. Ronaldo Lopez is scheduled to pitch for the uh, Braves. He is 1 and 0 with a 0 0.75 uh, ERA on the season. And Houston has not yet named their starter. The teams have been trending in games over the line. You see, uh, five the last five games have been over. And uh, between the two teams, five out of the last six, uh, eight out of the last ten have also been over. The score prediction is for Atlanta in a 10-2 to blowout, with the confidence in the prediction, though, still rather low at 49%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Atlanta is sitting at plus 12. And Houston, after a steep decline to two, they've climbed up very, ever so slightly to plus three. Head to head, the teams met earlier this season, and actually not earlier this season, last season, early in the season, and Houston won all three games on the road. I like the Tides to turn this time. I like Atlanta to be the one winning on the road, and I think this is going to be a higher scoring game, so Atlanta and over the line. And... There's going to be one more game that we're going to take a look at. It's going to be Cincinnati and Seattle. Both teams are coming in, not playing very well at the moment. Cincinnati, 6-6 six and six on the season, but you can see they're just 2-4 and four over their last six and ice cold down. While Seattle was ice cold up, also 2-4 and four over the last six. The score prediction is for Seattle to win by three runs, 7-4. to four. Confidence in the prediction, rather high at 70%. The teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the line, as you see here. Two out of the last three for um, Seattle have been under, and the last three games for the Reds have been over. Power ranks, Seattle on the upward trend at plus 18, and Cincinnati in the opposite direction on the downward trend at plus 4. Cincinnati is doing well on the road, although they've only played three on the road so far, but they are 2-1 and one on the road so far, and Seattle is a game under 500, 3-4 at home. So in the end, I like this one to be a Seattle game, and I think it's going to be by about two runs, maybe three, in a game over the line. Okay, so there you have it for Major League Baseball for April 15th. Happy betting, and see you again next time.